The Tale of Little Red Riding Hood Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived with her father and mother in a pretty little cottage at the edge of the village. At the other end of the wood was another pretty cottage and in it lived the little girl's grandmother. Everybody loved this little girl, but her grandmother loved her most of all and gave her a great many pretty things. Once she gave her a red cloak with a hood, which she always wore, so people called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood's mother said, Put on your things and go to see your grandmother. She's been ill. Take along this basket for her. I have put in it eggs, butter, cake and some other goodies. It was a bright and sunny morning. Red Riding Hood was so happy that at first she wanted to dance through the wood. There were pretty flowers growing all around her and she stopped to pick a bunch for her grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood wandered off the main path into the wood and was bending to pick a flower when from behind her a gruff voice said Good morning Little Red Riding Hood Little Red Riding Hood turned around and saw a great big wolf but she had no idea what a wicked beast the wolf was so she was not afraid what do you have in that basket, Little Red Riding Hood? Eggs and butter and cake, Mr Wolf. And where are you going with them, Little Red Riding Hood? I'm going to my grandmother who is ill, Mr Wolf. Where does your grandmother live, Little Red Riding Hood? Along that path, past the wild rose bushes, then through the gate at the end of the wood, Mr Wolf. Then Mr Wolf again said good morning and set off and Little Red Riding Hood again went in search of wild flowers. At last the wolf reached the porch covered with flowers and knocked at the door of the cottage. Who's there? called the grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood said the wicked wolf. Press the latch, open the door and walk in said the grandmother. The wolf pressed the latch and walked in where the grandmother lay in bed. He made one jump at her, but the grandmother jumped out of bed and into a closet. Then the wolf put on the nightcap which she had dropped and crept under the bedclothes. In a while, Little Red Riding Hood knocked at the door and walked in saying, Good morning, grandmother. I have brought you eggs, butter and cake and here is a bunch of flowers I gathered in the wood. As she came nearer the bed, she said, oh, What big ears you have, Grandmother! All the better to hear you with, my dear. What big eyes you have, Grandmother! All the better to see you with, my dear. But, Grandmother, what a big nose you have! All the better to smell with, my dear. But, Grandmother, what a big mouth you have. All the better to eat you up with, my dear, said the wolf as he jumped at Little Red Riding Hood. Just at that moment, Little Red Riding Hood's father, who was a woodcutter, was passing the cottage and heard her scream. He rushed in and with one big swish of his axe, he killed the big bad wolf and saved Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother. Everybody was happy that Little Red Riding Hood had escaped the wolf. Then Little Red Riding Hood's father carried her home and they lived happily ever after. <laughs>